Hey, welcome back to The Plant Show. My name is Rose and today I want to take you through two different propagation methods and we'll test out how they work. Today at Paul Shirley Succulents, I got this beautiful Hoya Mathilde cutting, which is quite long. He was very generous. Look at that. My latest Hoya cuttings I've all had in soil in a plastic bag, but I wanted to test out whether this roots better in water or in soil. So it's pretty long. I'm going to cut it up here in the middle and then do one part of this exact same plant in water and one in soil so we can discover what roots better, what starts to grow better. We can keep an eye out on it. So let's do this little experiment. Okay, since this is pretty long, I thought I would cut it right here. Which part should we do which with? I think this is okay to roll up into the soil and this I'll pop into water. Ooh. Watch out for the juice on those Hoyas. Pretty messy. I'm using rainwater. And then this one is a little pot that needs the soil to be a little bit more wet. So I'm gonna let that sit for a little while before I plant it in there. This one, I guess, just goes straight in there. I use these for name tags to know what plant it is, but I also use them to pin cuttings down. Since then, I actually changed the method a little bit because these uh, pinny things, they can break stems that are not as solid as Hoya stems. So I pinned it around in a circle and then closed the bag and put it I think on a heat mat or in front of the heater, maybe, or maybe in my terrarium. A lot of water in the bottom that we're going to just quickly pop out. I don't know why I did it like this instead of just taking the plant out of the pot and making sure that it didn't fall over or the soil fell out, but there we go. Good morning, today is March 20th and I wanted to give you a little update on the Matildas because they're now actually fuzzy roots growing. The one that is in soil seems to do better than the one in water, but here it is. Let me switch the camera. So don't mind the mold on the little sticks, but there, look at that. That's a little fuzzy root growing into the soil and there's several of them on that side. Focus. Can you see them? Maybe you can't because it's so small still, but look there. She's reaching into the ground. I don't see any growth points yet, but I mean, she's been here. What is it? The 8th of um, March. So now it's 20th. I cannot think. 12 days. <laughs> so I'm really impressed with how fast this is growing. Especially because people always tell me Hoyas are slow growers. And then the one in water has one chunky root that's doing really well. And for the rest, the, maybe that's an activated root thingy, but I don't see it just yet. Yeah, they're both doing really well. Also, Paul, the Bilobata, has lost a leaf and keeps bleeding i don't know why seems to be a little bit fragile but i hope he recovers soon and starts to grow it is now the 24th of march and my little one in water has gotten quite a <laughs> look at my eye quite a big root and some possible points of other roots but that's all no growth just yet and then i checked the other one here it is the one in the plastic baggie was rooting a lot more than the one in water actually. And there's a point of growth. Let me show you. So here it is, my little Mathilde. Some roots everywhere. And then in that corner with all the fuzzy roots, can you see? Oh, it's still super small, but can you see there? There's one tiny little circular leaf coming out. It is adorable. I hope that more growth points will be activated because 
that will mean a fuller plant. If you didn't know, um, Hoya Mathilde is a hybrid of Hoya Serpens, which is kind of hard to grow, and then Hoya Carnosa, which is easy to grow. So that's why this guy is probably easier. I heard anyway with all different types of plants that hybrids are stronger and easier to grow than species. So I'm looking into hybrids a lot more now. Today is June 19th, which by the way is an important date for the end of slavery in the United States. So if you Google Juneteenth, you will be educated about that. Just a little tip. The last update for my Matilda project. So let's start with the not successful one. After that last part that I filmed, I moved it into a little plastic baggie and soil like the other one, just to help it grow a little bit more. But so far, three months in, this is all I've got. There is one growth point. Let me turn the camera around. So there is one growth point that is putting out some new leaves. It looks a little bit dry. I might need to water this one. But yeah, that's growing. So that's not a failure, but the one that I started off in the plastic baggie method is now a full plant. <laughs> and yes, I gave it a trellis that was actually sold as a note holder with little uh, magnets, but I broke off the foot and I popped it in there and <laughs> now we have a cactus trellis. Oh, and for all of you asking on Instagram, that trellis is from the Hema, which is a Dutch shop. And yeah, they have it in, wait, they have it in a monstera leaf as well. I got that. I basically just broke off the bottom and stuck it in the pot and that's it. As you can see, this plant has done very well. It has three little um, growth points, which are already quite long. It actually graduated from the plastic baggie quite a few weeks ago, and now it's just growing out in the open because it doesn't need the high humidity anymore. It's doing so well. Look at all the fuzzy little baby leaves. Yeah, definitely a huge success, especially compared to that one. Two. So, Matilda and I are gonna chill. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let me know what is your favorite way of propagating Hoya because I've been testing in my environment, but maybe in your house it's very different. So let me know in the comments. Thank you. See you in the next one. Bye.